The next step in our project is to add the trips that are external to our stu study zone uh, to to the matrix that we have. So to to do that, remember we're working with a single matrix file with multiple cores. I'm gonna come here to matrix file contents, add a new core that I'm gonna rename as external trips. Let's press OK. And go there. And this part is really just typing in uh, what is in the website. If you prefer to process the matrix or the, the matrix information that is in the website to a database format and import into a transcat, you are uh, welcome to do so. Unless, uh, uh, but that's not necessary. I'll just type the numbers here. First thing I'm going to do is to fill everything with zeros. Press OK. And just stop typing and start typing. I'm not going to type everything. And these are the numbers for 2011. So your numbers are probably different. So I'm going to type all the numbers here. And I'm gonna ty I'm gonna type only these trips that are uh, leaving uh, Miasma Beach and going or going through it. And I'm not gonna type the matri the trips that are entering Miasma Beach. After we do that, we can just come here, quick sum. So before going to quick sum, just check you have four cores in your matrix: home base work, home base other, non-home base, and external trips. You can then click and quick sum. Okay, here you have a matrix that is the sum of all your matrices, all your previous four matrices. You can come back to another matrix just to be able to rename quick sum to total matrix. If you made any mistake and you have to go back, remember you have to delete quick s this matrix, total matrix, to do perform a quick sum again. If you did, if you did not rem uh, not rename it, if it's still called quick sum, you can just press quick sum again, and the quick sum core is going to be uh, updated with your total. Good luck with the project.